we're here at Club Richelieu, where favorite local 80s band Ruckus will be rocking out. The band came together for a final farewell, performing classic hits and some original ones for the Rock for Paws fundraising event. This is a great event. It's Rock for Paws. And what's happening is we're going to rock and roll and we're going to bring in as much as we can for the, actually it's called Niagara Humane Society. Combination Welland and Niagara Falls. We haven't had a good event for them in a long time, so we just decided this is it. Combine Ruckus, the band from Port Coburn, big band in the 70s and 80s, and get our all our, you know, all, all our friends and family out and get all the Humane Society people together for one big party for a good cause. Ruckus was popular from about 1970 to 1983. So it's almost actually a 40 year span, but you know, we're still healthy. We're still around and just somebody's idea, you get call this, call this, and all of a sudden, now with social media, it's a little easier to get a hold of each other because one of our members is actually from Florida. And just a couple phone calls, everyone thought it was a great idea because you know how it is. If you don't do it now, you may not be able to do it in the future. Proceeds from tonight's event are going to the Niagara SPCA. What's your personal connection to them? Oh, I've been, I've been involved there since the mid-90s. Actually, I started as a volunteer dog walker. I've adopted about 10 dogs between myself and my mother, and I'm going to adopt many more if my wife left me. John, how did tonight's partnership come together? Uh, so one of our dog walkers, Terry, who's very avid at our shelter and always walking dogs, he knows Rain, uh, who's with Ruckus, of course, uh, and the two of them got together, and it's because their farewell tour, they were looking at a, at a charity event, and they picked us, and we're very, very grateful for that. Tonight's event is being listed as the final farewell for Ruckus. They didn't have to make it a fundraising event, but they chose to do that. What does that, what does that say about them? Uh, it just shows, you know, again, they're, they're involved in their community. They're a local Niagara uh, area uh, rock bond, and it's just, again, you know, it, it's just great when we see people like this reach out to the shelters. We don't get any government funding, so events like this, of course, go towards the care of the animals. Uh, some of the animals that we do get in that, you know, are hit by car or need extra medical treatment, events like this, of course, go towards their care. So we were expecting probably between 250 and 300 people. Uh, and at our last count, we were at 550 people. So yeah, people are really coming out to see Ruckus and support the event for sure. It's just great. It's great to see the people already arriving, uh, the community involvement, the community support. We do a lot of programs. Uh, we have a mobile spay-neuter clinic. We also have a low-cost clinic. Uh, and all this money, of course, goes towards the care of the animals. Kyra, why did you think it was important to volunteer for this event tonight? Um, I wanted to get involved. I've started to volunteer with the uh, Niagara Falls Well and Humane Societies um, as of recently. I've been involved with different um, animal shelters, organizations since adopting my dog in 2011. She brought so much joy to me and my family. Um, so I think it's very important to help those other animals that are still looking for their homes and their families um, to help them in any way possible. What would you say is the best part of having a dog that is a rescue? I think that somehow they know that you've given them that chance and um, I mean my dog could not love me anymore and I feel the same about her. She's just the sweetest little thing. Um, she's a part of my family. Um, so I think that there's something there with that, uh, with adopting. Um, they, they just know and they're so grateful. Are there any animals at the Niagara Falls Humane Society that are near and dear to your heart? Yes, so I was there recently for an event and um, Tucker stole my heart. I would take him home if I were able to. Um, I'm not, so I'm hopeful that somebody out there will um, fall in love with him um, and see him for what he is. He's a very sweet uh, dog. He's, I believe, an American bulldog, so he's a big boy, um, but he has a big heart. You see, you know, a lot, a lot of people go to breeders. I, I, I just don't understand it because myself, you know, there's millions of dogs that need a home, usually due to a bad owner, some that are thrown out, some are neglected. These dogs sit in the cage waiting to get out, you know, they just, it's just like being in prison for them. I mean, uh, the Well and Humane Society does everything they can, obviously in Niagara, but still, it's not a home. A dog like that needs a second chance because, you know, I think that 
once a dog gets out of there, spends a few days with you, they really appreciate it and they're so happy. You, you know, you've, I, I find it fulfilling that when I look at my three right now, knowing where they came from, knowing where they are, I think that's the best thing. Uh, that to me is, makes me happy. I don't have children. These guys, my dogs, get to go to McDonald's every day, go for walks. My, my whole life, my wife as well, we build it around making our dogs happy. I will climb every mountain Sail across the storm they see And Niagara residents are getting a treat like no other, seeing Ruckus perform for one last show, giving them a memorable experience they won't forget. Proceeds from tonight's event will go to the Niagara SPCA. In Welland, reporting for The Source, I'm Jennifer Wittick.